Hosts of Eden, written and performed by Jay McFarland. Episode 1, Something New Today. But he was just emphatic, almost yelling, saying, I am the President of the United States. I just don't understand why you won't believe me. Of course, she's not going to believe him, but she says, I, I understand. My name is Dr. Turner. He gets even more upset. A doctor? Why, why do I need a doctor? What is this? He says, why am I here? Well, again, her name is Dr. Turner. And she's sitting at a table across from Johnny. Johnny's been her patient for well over eight years. As she talks to him, she's writing down in a file folder that she's been writing in about Johnny for about that time. In it, she's described Johnny as five foot nine, balding, blue eyes, and having come down with multiple personality disorder sometime around eight years ago. He's sitting across the table from her. He's got a scruffy beard and his hair's getting long in the back. And she's basically humoring him at this point. She says this is the Freeman Mental Institute. You are a patient here. And Johnny starts getting visibly upset. A patient? A mental institution, he says. What are you talking about? I am the president. You have no right to hold me here. I have to get back to the White House. And he's pounding on the table. Dr. Marion Turner seeks to calm him down. She says, everything's okay. Just, just relax. There's no rush. Just tell me what your name is. Let's just take this one step at a time. What do you mean, what is my name, Johnny is asking. Look at me. I'm Ronald J. Fillmore, the 45th president of the United States. Everyone on earth must know who I am at this point. Marion looks super confused. You see, Johnny's been in isolation for these entire eight years. How could he possibly know who the president is? She has to guess that someone on her staff has been feeding Johnny information and she looks over at the two-way mirrored glass to her right to whoever's watching her and she has this accusatory look on her face. How do you know who the president is? She asked Johnny. Who told you? Johnny again starts to pound on the table. What do you mean who told me? Look at me. Look at my face. You know who I am. What is this? What do you want from me? Where is my wife? How did you capture me? Dr. Marion is actually surprised and intrigued at the introduction of the President of the United States from Johnny. Because in all the time that she's treated Johnny, he's only had three distinct personalities. Johnny, who's the actual individual who used to be an electrical engineer... And then Mason, who is in the military or some type of special forces. And Shelby, a young girl. Johnny will frequently move through these three personalities. But he's never manifested a new personality since Marion has met him. Especially not one so convincing. She's thinking to herself, maybe this is some kind of new breakthrough. She asks Johnny to calm down, and she explains that he's in no danger here. Everything's going to be fine. Just, just tell me what else you know about the president. She's sure that if she asks him some more questions, he won't know the answers, and then she can get back to treating her patient. Johnny suddenly gets defensive. Oh, no, you don't. I see what you're trying to do. This is some kind of elaborate trick to get me to give away something to reveal some top secret information. Well, it's not going to work. You can drug me. You can do whatever you want, but it's not going to work. Marion's now writing down in her file folder and she looks up at him calmly and she says, look, I'm not trying to get you to reveal any information. 
I just need to make sure that you are who you say you are. I just want to make sure you're not an imposter. Well, this language and her tone starts to calm Johnny down a little bit, and he appears to agree with her. She asks him again to explain who he is and tell her a little bit more about himself. Johnny calmly says, As I told you, my name is Ronald Fillmore. I've been in the White House as the president for two and a half years now. My vice president is Michael Johnson. My wife's name is Felicia, and I have two children, Ronald Jr. and Marissa. Well, as you can imagine, Marion is even more shocked, as this information is all correct. She once again looks over at the two-way mirror, blaming whoever's behind it for playing some type of practical joke on her. Of course, she's not buying any of it. And so she begins to ask Johnny a series of rapid-fire questions to expose the fact that he doesn't really know anything about the president. But to her surprise, Johnny answers every single question correctly. Questions about the legislature. Questions about cabinet members. Questions about his life before being the president. How are you doing this? Marion asks. Johnny responds with firmness. I told you. I'm the president. Why is that so hard for you to understand? I mean, it should be obvious. Why are you doing this to me? Please, just tell me what you really want. Tell me what this is about. Marion is shocked at the level of preparation that must have gone into this ruse. So she continues her interrogation. So tell me what the very last thing you remember doing before coming here. This is a question that patients can never answer when they're in one of their personalities. But Johnny has an answer. Well, I remember sitting in the Oval Office I was writing some notes down on a notepad, just kind of brainstorming for the State of the Union address. Marion was writing down what he was saying, but as she heard State of the Union, she pops her head up and says, the State of the Union address, I think that's tonight. Johnny, surprised and anxious, says, wait a minute, tonight? That means I've been here for at least two weeks. Listen, the game is over. Please just tell me what you want. I have to get back. Marion gets back to the interrogation. Hang on, hang on, she says. Tell me more about what you were writing for the State of the Union speech. Johnny leans back in his chair, puts his hand to his scruffy beard, and says, I was just jotting down some notes, getting ready to meet with my speechwriters, and... I remember writing something about freedom because we've been having this debate about gun control and the mass shootings going on. And I, I wrote a line. I remember I was so proud of it because it, it just captured the essence of what I wanted to say. And I couldn't wait to share it with my speechwriters. What was the line? Marion asks. He thinks for a minute. The true cost of freedom is that there will be those who abuse that freedom. And in order to protect the freedom, we must punish the abuser of that freedom, not limit the freedom itself. And then th that's it. That's, that's the last thing that I remember. Now, Marion is listening, but she's writing down furiously in her file folder. Johnny realizes that he's just being treated like a patient and not like the president, and he's getting angrier and angrier by the minute. And this time he takes both hands and he pounds down on the table. Why aren't you listening to me? 
Then he reaches across the table and he grabs her by the arm, which scares her to death. Marion immediately looks over to the two-sided mirror with a concerned look on her face, as if to ask for help. And for the first time, Johnny notices the mirror. He lets go of her arm and rushes over to the mirror, obviously believing that somebody is on the other side. He starts pounding on the window. Let me out of here. What do you want from... Before he could even finish his sentence, he stopped. And he starts grabbing at his face, pulling at his eyebrows and his hair, as if he was trying to pull off a mask. He pulls at his beard and his face, leaving scratch marks on his cheeks. He yells and pounds on the window again. What have you done to me? What have you done to me? He then turns towards Marion, runs over and grabs her by both shoulders. He's continuing to yell and shake her. For the first time ever with Johnny, Marion is scared for her life. She tries to pull away, but he is squeezing so hard. Just in time, two people come rushing through the door. They pull Johnny off of Marion and there's a struggle on the ground as Johnny continues to yell, you have to let me go. What have you done to me? At this point, they inject something into Johnny's arm and he slowly starts to calm down and then goes under. They remove him from the room. As you can imagine, Marion is pretty shaken up. Yet she's never had any experience like this with Johnny before. She doesn't quite know what to think about it. One thing is for sure, she's pretty angry at whoever it is that decided to use a patient for a practical joke. And she's determined to get to the bottom of it. She picks up her items on the floor and the file folder that had been knocked off the table by Johnny. And then she goes over to the mirror and fixes her hair back into the bun that she always wears straightens up her lab coat takes a deep breath and then leaves the room so the next time on the host of eden dr marion will discover even more evidence that things really are not what they seem with her patient johnny is this someone's idea of a cruel joke or could this new personality that has emerged have some connection to the President of the United States.